the Old Mutual Wild Series. Proudly presents the Golden Gate Challenge, brought to you by Old Mutual, Radox, Sandparks and Wildlands. The three-day Old Mutual Radox Golden Gate Trail Run is a tough challenge. So what is the best approach? The best advice is to probably go out a little bit slower than what you think you would. And um, yeah, just hang in there and enjoy it and then keep a little bit for the last little bit. I did the Monte Sources, so that's sort of made me a bit prepared for this sort of event. But I think slow and easy and just enjoy the surroundings and the beauty. It's about actually just holding yourself back uh, and uh, Yes, pacing yourself correctly. I'll just take it easy and I'll, I'll run with the stragglers and enjoy my day. The best bit about coming back to a run is that you know exactly what to expect and it's going to be hell! Well, not exactly hell, but it was definitely going to be tough. Having listened to race director Hilary Bruss's briefing, they were soon on their way. Heading out on stage one, a 27 kilometer run following the Rybok Trail. It's renowned as one of the hardest of the three days with a few big mountains to conquer along the way. They would climb a total of 850 meters and the first climb came just after the start, cold legs, soon warming up as they ascended Generalkop. Mark Michel had clearly warmed up properly and Man Mulder was on his heels and Rob Stewart third, closely followed by Craig Smith. Trish Bellman was the leading woman, the pace predictably slow as runners conserved energy for what lay ahead. The first of the day's water points was a welcome stop and a chance to survey the beauty of the area. Breathtaking. Herman Mulder had his race face on. Rob Stewart taking it very easy for now. They traversed a long narrow ridge. It was brutally hard work so early in the race. But Dean France was smiling. One of the pillars of our sponsorship portfolio is around endurance and the Wild Series complements our other ultra endurance events which are the three big marathons in the three big provinces, um, the Old Mutual Two Oceans, we now signed as a partner to Comrades Marathon and the Soweto Marathon and then of course we have the Omdi Dam and the Joburg to Sea. So this is perfect fit with the rest of our sponsorship portfolio and yeah it really is part of the whole endurance focus that we have. Rob Stewart, neatly down the clamber. He was pursuing Herman Mulder. And already runners able to enjoy the solitude that is one of the attractions of trail running. Trish Bellman crossing the river, but she wasn't quite alone. Dean France on her heels. The river trail is one of the most popular in the Golden Gate National Park, taking hikers and in this instance, runners deep into the ravines and valleys of the mountains not to mention over the slick smooth sandstone carved out over millennia to create unique shapes and spaces. This event is part of a series that's not just about racing. The Wild Series is something very special for us. It's an opportunity to profile this incredible country that we have, profile these beautiful places. Uh, most of this field that have joined us today have not been here before. They didn't even know Golden Gate existed. And I have little doubt that next weekend, dinner tables around Johannesburg, Durban, Cape Town are going to be a buzz about this incredible event and this incredible place and how tough the hills were and how exhausted they were and how wonderful they felt on finishing. Up front, things were getting interesting. Herman was starting to tire a little after his very fast start. Rob Stewart was chasing and closing in was Craig Smith. Sandpark's honorary rangers play a pivotal role in the series. The Honorary Rangers is a voluntary organization which is in partnership with Sand Parks and as you can see we wear their staff uniforms and we are a partner of choice and our main effort is to raise funds for Sand Parks. Last year we managed to raise 44 million. There's two regions, Honorary Rangers regions involved in this event. It's 
KZN and Orange Free State. And it's a great honor for us to be in partnership with Wildlands to raise funds for conservation activities. They were now high above the floor of the valley. A spectacular vista and a wonderful chance to breathe the fresh, invigorating mountain air. Wayne Scott bending to the task. And Trish Bellman had a solid lead over her rivals in the women's category. The Golden Gate Challenge was a chance to see the smaller things in life. Whilst roaming the vast open spaces of the mountains. The temperature rising rapidly. With little respite as they headed towards the iconic Brandbach Buttress. Many by now reduced to a brisk walk. It was grueling stuff. Rob Stewart had a couple of hundred meters on Herman Mulder as they made their way up to the base of the concrete steps. If they were suffering before, this section was going to have them digging deeper than ever. Rob had reached the top and was heading down the chains. We're working with fire guys on hand to assist if needed. Herman not far behind Rob. This is a tricky section, the chain's a lifesaver. Mark Michel was third after taking his time up the steps. The buttress is perhaps the most recognizable sandstone outcrop in the Eastern Free State and it presides over the park. The steepness of the descent fully appreciated now. Then be night, this is where speed takes a back seat and caution the watchword. Joseph Mabote making his way slowly down one slip and they'd fall a long way and they were still some way from the finish line at the campsite there was still plenty of work to do Greg Dawson tripping neatly over the rocks it was a truly special place and to get this close on foot an awesome experience for the runners and they had the time to appreciate it At the back, the chains were being held with white knuckle ferocity. Once down, it was a walk or a little jog to the buttress. Lauren Cochran over the last of the bridges. Meanwhile, up at the finish, Rob Stewart is finishing off a superb run. Two hours and 55 minutes to take the win. Great run. Um, started off reasonably conservatively uh, up the hills and just sort of ran within myself and, and managed to have a strong finish. I didn't expect it to be so difficult, really, to be honest. The hills were so intense. Uh, I normally pride myself that I can run all the hills in the shorter trail runs, but today I was forced to walk. It was tough out there and the heat didn't help. Mark Michel was third and a short while later Trish Bellman rounded the bend and came home to take the women's race. Another superb run from Trish, sixth overall in 3 hours 19. Getting to the top and then the last stairs obviously, a little kick in the, in the rear end and then uh, yeah we got home safely so all a very good day and um, felt good. I did a very slow last 10 k's, but it's fine. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good to come across the finish line. Hard climbing. The descents were harder. I look forward to more climbing. And then just when you think you've finished, you have all those stairs at the end. It was grueling. Well, a grueling day in the mountains is still better than not being in the mountains at all. Always beautiful. Always a great amount to help out there, which we seriously grateful for, so on behalf of all the runners. It's my first event at Golden Gate, but I've had the privilege of driving past the once before, and it's such a beautiful place. It's absolutely worth the trip uh, all the way from Cape Town. It was great, yeah. It was quite hot out there and a couple of tough hills, but uh, lovely scenery. We saw quite a lot of game out there and even saw a bearded vulture. Well, those bearded vultures are in decline due to poaching and a reducing habitat. 
They're believed to be just a hundred breeding pairs remaining in the wild. After the morning's strenuous efforts, it was off the feet for a peaceful afternoon sleep. Rob Stewart just ahead of Herman Mulder, Mark Michel in third, and Wayne Scott in fifth. Trish Bellman dominating the ladies already. As Redox, we're very happy to be uh, involved with the Wild Series once again. It's our third year um, this year, and uh, it's been a fantastic event. The link between the Wild Series and Redox is, is very close. You know, the Redox Manix as a brand stands very much for exhilaration, adventure, getting out there, getting dirty, etc. And I think that's what the Wild Series is all about. Well, that evening, the runners learned more about the Old Mutual Wild Series and the incredible work of the Wildlands Conservation Trust, as well as what lay in store for them for Stage 2. Day two, dawn the following morning and the mountains lay in wait for the runners on stage two of the Old Mutual Radox Golden Gate Challenge. Excitement, apprehension and some seriously stiff legs on the start line. And they were soon on their way, ahead of them 29 kilometres of seriously spectacular trails that explore sections of the park that are normally out of bounds to the regular visitors. After the tough first stage, today's task would be to get the muscles warm as soon as possible because a single track climb begins at 4 kilometers. Mark Michel and Herman Mulder, the initial hairs out front. Herman starting the day two and a half minutes behind leader Rob Stewart. Mark was just under seven minutes back. He would climb 1400 meters on the day. As any trail runner will tell you, going downhill can be just as painful as going up, particularly amongst the rocks and boulders of the Golden Gate Park and after a tough first day. Signs of abandoned farms, these rock fence posts, they'll be there for hundreds of years to come. The first of three water points, a truly welcome oasis and everyone dived in. They were in what routemaster Nick Flores calls Little Serengeti and Plains game was plentiful. Wildebeest and Bontebok crossed their paths. At the second water point, Wayne Scott glugs it down. How are you guys feeling? Oh. <laughs> Thank the way to go. Herman, well, he was there too. They're not about to give anything away regarding their condition. Mark Michel arrived a few minutes later. Craig Smith and Rob Stewart, they stopped to enjoy the honorary ranger's hospitality. Eric Boa and Adrian Carter charging off the mountain. This would be a brief respite for the runners. In their favour, the temperatures not quite as extreme as on day one, and they all looked well up for the day's challenges. Each though taking the day at their own pace. Why rush when you're in such an awesomely beautiful area? That was the philosophy of many. The tussle up front was fascinating. Herman Mulder now opening up a little lead. His technique up the hill was to use short, sharp paces, but to keep running. Mark Michel behind him adopted the long walking stride, each perhaps as effective as the other. Overall leader Rob Stewart was in the third group along with Wayne Scott. Trish Bellman was on her lonesome as she looked up at the climb. This was a true test of the runners' ability to pace themselves. The experienced stage race runners among them would be the ones to follow. The novices would do well to watch them. The rewards at the top of the agonizing climb were simply stupendous views of the Eastern Free State and the Maluti Mountains. A trickle of runners stretching all the way along the trail. Whichever way they looked, they saw mountains. No complaints though, they knew what they were in for when they signed on the dotted line on the entry form. Simply breathtaking, and a really good reason to stop and take a few pics. Colleagues in the office on Monday wouldn't believe them if they tried to describe what they'd been up to over the weekend. It wasn't too bad. I believe it's all downhill, so happy. Cheers. They were at the Highlands Mountain Retreat and the endangered bearded vultures were soaring, much to the delight of the Henri Rangers. Herman was on the charge now. The drop down the mountain was going to be radical. The Golden Gate is uh, 
500 bed national park um, in terms of accommodation ranging from two star to a three star hotel. There's quite a number of other activities that you can do in this magnificent uh, national park ranging obviously from walking trails including um, trail running as one of the extreme um, activities that one can actually do in the park. There is no national park in South Africa that protects the grassland biome. Golden Gate is the only one. And of course, um, when one looks around and look at this uh, uh, beautiful scenery, it is also one of the reasons the park was established, a national park. So it is different from anything else that you know. So that makes it a fantastic spot for you to come and visit. Hey, yeah, it's amazing. I'm much better than day one. Huh? Not, not as technical as day one, so much more running. And uh, obviously conditions, the weather was amazing today. Oh, I'm so pleased. How's it going? Stunning, it's absolutely beautiful. But I don't know why they keep those last two hills after halfway. They always take you out. But that's what makes you such an awesome trail runner. They were in the shadow of another Golden Gate landmark, Mushroom Rock, which is a sign the finish was close by. And flying into the camp, Herman Mulder, in three hours and three minutes to take stage two. We all started out very conservatively. I think everybody was scared after yesterday, the major hills. So. We basically stuck together as a group uh, up until 10 k's. Mark Bishop was second, 12 seconds ahead of first stage winner Rob Stewart to set up a thrilling final stage. Once we hit the top of, of Highlands there, um, yeah, it was, it was three of us just gunning it for second place. Um, but yeah, I managed to sort of hold the guys off towards the end. Craig Smith took fourth place, Herman Mulder icing down. He had just 40 seconds of a lead over Rob Stewart. Tomorrow's going to be tough, I'm not sure how close we are together, but it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's all to play for tomorrow. It's gonna be, it's gonna be mad. Trish Bauman made it two stage wins in a row. She came home first among the women in sixth place overall once again. Wendy Morgan was in second place. And so the runners rolled home, some in big chatty groups. It's one of the best ways to get around a huge challenge. At Omitra, we really believe in doing great things and this is what we've witnessed this weekend with all the participants, all the honorary rangers um, actually doing great things and really what's behind our partnership, behind our sponsorship is plowing back into the communities in which our mutual operates. Gron Makovic going the extra mile and carrying Tamsin van der Berg home. It was that sort of day, no matter what pace you finished in, you had to have loved it. Everyone stood to applaud Michaela France, who'd hurt her leg, was helped across the line by one of the very helpful medical rescue team. I would never have made it without her. Thank you so, so, so much. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic run by Herman Mulder, the racing close all the way through the top four runners. And with the women, Trish Bauman, another dominant performance for her. There's no surprise as to the afternoon's activities. Busiest people in camp were the Radox therapists as they eased painful muscles. It's the only reason why I'm running the Golden Gate to be massaged afterwards. <laughs> that evening, Dr. Andrew Fenter further enlightened the runners about the progress made by Wildlands and Hilary Bruss outlined day three's plans. Head torches were mandatory on day three as tradition dictates in Old Mutual Wild Series trail events. Today's going to be amazing. I love the fact that in race briefing they didn't even mention the buttress for a second time, so newbies, good luck. Sure, <laughs> I don't know, hang in there for dear life today. Um, weather's been a little bit um, nippy, but um, that's normal for this race. Well, this is fun. <laughs> no, I think it'll be interesting. Eh? We've had two hot days, so we'll see where it goes. Yes, after the heat, the big chill. A front had swept through the Malutis and the runners were wrapped in wet weather gear and something to keep them warm as they set off on stage three. A 17 kilometer run, it's the shortest but perhaps has the toughest climb of them all as they head straight up to 2,400 meters above sea level for breakfast. Herman Mulder had early company in the shape of the Golden Gate Camp Dog. Rob Stewart and Mark Michel kept themselves company. Mulder setting a cracking pace. It was one of those cloudy, misty, rainy mornings, visibility low, and the pace slow to the top. Tough climb, they say it's an easy climb, but it's murder. Whew. But their legs are good, we're getting awesome morning. Ow! 
oh, oh great off oh, that sorry. time. That was wonderful. Brutal. <laughs> Still in good humor, and why not? Where would they rather be on a Sunday morning? Herman Milder was a few seconds clear of his rivals and he still had the canine for company. Robin Mark just behind the four-legged runner. Conditions got more and more intense. It was like a good day in the Scottish Highlands as Wayne Scott clambered over the boulders. The wind and rain battered the runners. Women's leader Trish Bellman, her ever cheerful self, as was Adrian Carter. Morning, Emily. Morning, James. Morning, Lillian. Nice and warm this morning. A slight exaggeration from one of the great characters of the sport. They were heading back to familiar territory, Brunfach Buttress and those quad hammering steps. Herman reduced to a walk for once. With a slender overall lead, he was keen to gain as much ground on his pursuers as possible. He careered down the chains. These are a challenge in dry, windless conditions. Today, they'd be treacherous. Rob now in second place, having passed his four-legged companion, who clearly knows his way down. The road was way down in the valley. Mark Michel chasing, and the runners totally focused on their next step and keeping a tight grip on the chain. Trish Bellman, unchallenged again in the women's race, she had over 40 minutes in hand. Marshall's guiding the runners down the mountain. And still plenty of smiling faces despite the conditions. It was slow progress up the steps. Zelda could see it on her way up. Mark Michel hammering down towards the finish. Wayne Scott in fifth overall also keen to finish strongly. Despite her big lead, Trish Bauman still going flat out. Julia Hacklin now in second place. Maddie Bowman. In fact, it seemed as if the cold or wet conditions had energized the entire field as they scrambled and surged get to the finish as quickly as possible, and then they could warm up. The sheer joy of being out in the wild clearly invigorating. They'd been up and they'd been down these before. But it still doesn't make it any easier. The Old Mutual Wild Series events take great care in ensuring that they make little or no impact on the pristine environments they traverse. They stick to existing paths and trails, once more in the shadow of the Brandfach Buttress. And at the finish, Herman Mulder charging home in an hour and 37 minutes. Today was epic, eh? uh, to use a cliche. Just running in the mist this morning and it, it was really awesome. Eh? It's, uh, the atmosphere was amazing. A hard fight by Rob Stewart, he was second. Very tough, um, hats off to Herman. Had a brilliant race, really pushed very, very hard from the start. He's a deserved champion. Mark Michel took third place, whilst the canine camp dog was the first four-legged finisher. Craig Smith was fourth and Wayne Scott took fifth. A seasoned campaigner, Trish Bellman, an exuberant winner of the women's race. I had a tremendous day today. I mean, I really thought that um, today was going to be a struggle with legs being a bit of sore and stiff, but I had a fantastic day, fantastic weather. I mean, we couldn't have asked for anything better. Julia Hackland was second home in an event that has captured the imagination. Following the Wild Series over the past couple of years and, and not having participated in them and just seeing the, the awesomeness in them and now being actually part of them and organizing and being with Wildlands and conservation. I've really, really enjoyed it. and I think the organization is absolutely amazing and, and I'm really blessed and privileged to be a part of it. I think we can go, go further and just following from this event, I think next year is going to be a great success and I'm really looking forward to it. Old Mutual's Ray Olafir, a great supporter of the series. 
chilly, very chilly. Nice single track. I'm glad the rain stopped. Great uh, sportsmanship out there. So the first day was really tough. And yesterday was fan really fantastic, but the hills were, were so steep. Uh, and then today's really great. It was really wet at the start and then freezing on the top. It was really tough, was, was really hot. Um, not really used to the heat from, from England. The agony and the ecstasy, highs and lows, like I've never experienced before. A very competitive race all round. Herman Milder holding off Rob Stewart by just 1 minute and 47 seconds. Trish Bellman was an hour and 18 minutes ahead of Wendy Morgan over the three days. That afternoon, Dr. Andrew Fenter hosted the prize giving, thanking the runners for their generosity and congratulating all the finishers, and particularly the top three men who collected Bearded Vulture trophies, as did the leading women. Old Mutual Wild Series brought you the Golden Gate Challenge presented by Old Mutual, Radox, Sandparks and Wildlands.